Welcome to the province of Bohol. Explore her amazing and enchanting beaches and dream with me for a progressive yet sustainable development for the province and people and a brighter future for the country and the succeeding generations. Bohol Island and her 73 islets are cradled in waters which are among the most productive in the Philippines with the highest marine biodiversity in the country. Of the 28 species of marine mammals in the archipelago, 18 are found in the waters surrounding Bohol. Bohol is blessed with rich mangrove ecosystem and hosts two major mangrove forests. Banacon Island in Hitafi Town is the biggest mangrove plantation in the country and perhaps in Southeast Asia. While the Kandihai Mangrove Forest is one of the most biologically diverse, boasting of 36 of the 54 mangrove species found throughout the world. Mangroves are extraordinary rich habitats that serve as life support systems to fishes, crustaceans, and wildlife. Bohol is well known for the Tarsier or Tarsio serigta. The species is believed to be about 45 million years old, dating back to the early Eocene period, and probably one of the oldest species continuously existing in the Philippines. Bohol is home of the signature tourism icon, the Chocolate Hills, an unusual geological formation of at least 1,268 hills to as many as 1,776 spread over an area of more than 50 square kilometers. Truly, Bohol has an incomparable wealth of wonders to offer to the world. Bohol is a picturesque island with natural endowments, and yet there's more. Her landscape is bedecked with jewels crafted and carved through generations by local artisans and a gentle, persevering people. Churches of the Philippines are our only centuries-old heritage structures, forming part and parcel of the Filipino heritage. In Bohol, numerous old stone churches are among the most antiquated in the country, where adjacent museums contain various interesting relics, religious art, and artifacts. The Boholano community has a sense of heritage and has enlivened these churches with their devotion and homage to their faith that has blossomed through the ages. And then there's the Lobok Children's Choir that springs from generations of composers musicians and conductors who have been honed by the regular rhythm of musical rites of passage in the nave of the Lobok Church. Bohol is the cradle of thriving and vibrant cultural youth ambassadors in the field of music, dance, theater, and the arts. Like all precious things, these are some of the treasures that have inspired the people of Bohol to consciously craft their vision for the province and steer their development towards a sustainable future for the island and the local communities. Bohol Province has opened her doors to development partners and investors who are eager to provide the needed infrastructure, facilities, technology, products and services which would make Bohol a better place to live in, do business in, visit and explore, and learn from. Tourism is a growing industry in the province, with tourist arrivals hitting half a million for the last two years. Accommodation facilities have expanded, and the number of rooms has increased to more than 3,000 in 2011. Eco-cultural tourism thrives, with local communities managing their natural and cultural resources, weaving new products, and sharing these with visitors, which have likewise provided livelihood and employment to local people. Yet, there are components in a tourism value chain that still need to be done, established, or even enhanced. The proposed new Bohol Airport through public-private partnership will open new horizons for Bohol as a key player in the national economy. President Noy Noy Aquino has approved the construction of the new Bohol Airport in Panglao Island that will commence in 2013. With an increasing influx of tourists, Bohol has to provide more rooms and livable residential communities.
bigger events venues, quality education, healthcare, and agricultural tourism destinations and activities. In agriculture, Bohol is a rice granary of Central Visayas and has recently attained 113% rice self-sufficiency. Yet, agricultural production and light agri-industries can thrive well in our vast and cultivated lands. Agri-processing and post-harvest facilities for products like mango, banana, root crops, seaweed, livestock and fishery products can put a premium on farm products and can complement its being the rice granary and supplier of aquamarine products in Central Visayas. Currently, the Philippines is the number one business support service provider for voice in the world. The country earned 11 billion U.S. dollars in revenue from the fast-growing information technology and business process outsourcing industry, which employed more than half a million. Bohol would like to get a share of this pie to generate thriving businesses, building competence and providing employment for her capable and trainable pool of adapt talent. Providing adequate and safe water, stable and cheap energy, and a safe and clean environment would be the participation of investors and partners who want to become key stakeholders in the development of the province. The best governed province in the country in 2011, Bohol welcomes you to the island province. Savor our warm invitation to experience, explore, and invest in Bohol, heart of the islands, truly Philippines.